Next up, we're away to Grimsby, the fishing port. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, we can catch three points. So, away to Grimsby next. Um, weirdly enough, Grimsby were actually not a bad team back in the day. Uh, they're pretty pants now, like non-league. Um, but I know a couple of Grimsby fans, and they always go on about their Division 1 days, or the Championship as we now know it. And, um, yeah, they were alright. I mean, you know, they had some half-decent players back in the day. Like, they've got a massive squad. Um, some players that used to play for Grimsby and Bradford City, uh, Michael Balding, Barry Conlon, um, there's probably a few others. There's Mickey Balding as we speak, actually. Uh, can't believe they called him Mickey. I'm pretty sure it was Michael. Anyway, um, yeah, like Danny Coyne, I remember him. He was a really good goalkeeper, good goalkeeper back. Danny Butterfield as well. In 21, he went on to go play for his field. Um, that's not Saul Campbell, that's Stuart Campbell. Um, so yeah, they had some good players, really good players. Bradley Allen, he was a really good player, centre forward. Um, so really weird how they can just tr totally drop down for the leads and just be like, they're now long league and they've been long league for quite a while. Uh, Bradford City news, um, not much to report on. I've got, a, uh, I'm just waiting on Bakalagalagalagalu to come in. Whether he does or not, I don't know. That's my last signing, I reckon, for the season, unless I need somebody. And then these guys are coming in uh, November and Dece December, respectively. Uh, Robbie Blake still injured, back in a few days, though. Hopefully, he'll make the Grimsby game. Uh, we'll see. Um, a couple of housekeeping. Apologies on the last video. Um, the noise on the game I left on, I didn't mute it. <laughs> Stupid idea, because you could hardly ever talk and you just hear this random, hey, hey, all the way through the game. Apologise for that. Um, and thank you for continue, your continued support watching them. Um, I had a bit of crisis of confidence the weekend. I'm like, why am I playing Championship Manager 2001, 2002, when I'm a fully grown adult? And I felt really down about it and I thought, people are just going to judge me. Um, but then I remembered it is an awesome game. Uh, also, if you're confused about the Forest Green comment a couple of videos ago, that's my other game. I can't. I tell people I can't carry on playing this game. It's really frustrating. This save, I've only can only play it once a week when I'm recording it. It's like the slowest game ever. So I don't play it and then revert back to an old save. I've just got to create another game. So instead of doing another Baron C, I'm managing Forest Green and I'm trying to get him out of the, uh, the conference. I might dip into that a bit in the future. You never know. Anyway, let's get going. Um, I want to get to Grimsby. Grimsby, fishing port. Um, famous for the fish and they actually are called... The Fisherman or something? I can't remember the nickname. Hey, up, oh, Andy Myers, 625k. So I fell out of Andy Myers because he had a couple of pants performances and he it just generally annoyed me. Um, I've seen other saves where he's had a really good season, but uh, anyone who starts a fight with Stuart McCall, you're out, mate. So, ooh, should I see if they're fancy? <gasps> Shall I get Dean Windass back? <gasps> he's unhappy. Will they swap Andy Myers for Dean Windass? We did actually sign him, didn't we? A few seasons after this, so it would be true to form. Let's try it. <gasps> oh, off of contact to can I, can I How much have we offered? 300k. Oh, yeah, that's his minimum fee, isn't it? I bet he won't sign because he just signed a contract with. Oh! Well, fair enough. No minimum fee for you, mate. I'll offer him non promotion because we're definitely going to go up, by the way. We're going to storm this league. Don't know if you, if you realise that. Lee Thompson started his German search. Go on, Lee. Don't eat too much breakfast. Robbie Blake's full training. So, a bit of a dilemma. Do I drop Gareth Grant and put Robbie Blake in? Um, oh, you know, Robbie's going to Greece. Have a nice holiday. Phil Turner's in Italy. Sampling the wine. Middlesbrough made an offer. Yes! This is on the cards. Oh! Oh, do I offer him his squad rotation or first team? What a dilemma. I mean, he's, he's slowed down a lot, but he's only 32. Non-competitively, he's been doing all right. He wants quarter of a million. Dean. I can't, I'm sorry, mate. I can't afford that. I'll give you a bit of a gold bonus, but that's about it. 
A way to Grimsby, here we go. Now, R Royal Bla oh, it's under now Gareth Grant has been playing well and scoring. Now, all right, he has got goals in the th the drubbings, so it doesn't really make him that much. But, he's, you know, I don't know what to do. Do I drop Gareth Grant and put Roy Blake in there, or do I keep it as it is? <sighs> Other than that, my squad speaks for itself, really. Oh, God, I can't remember well played. Jonas and Jesse Mako. Is that what I played last match? No, that can't be right. Oh, that was a cup match, wasn't it? Oh, my Lord, I can't remember my formation. Castro and Wally Carboni. Um, how did they all do? Oh my god, I don't know what I'm, I, I, I actually don't know what I'm doing. It's been such a long time. Um, yeah, let's keep it as, as we had. And you know what? I'm putting Robbie Blake in. At the end of the day, it's Robbie Blake. Do you know what I mean? You can't just, you can't just drop Robbie Blake, regardless of if Gary, Gareth Grant scored a goal. Yeah. Lee Makel got man a match last game. Anyway, Jimmy Victory captain. <laughs> No, <laughs> Jamie. Calm your loins. We're off. Gareth Wally. Boom. Eight minutes. Wow. Steve Livingston. Bravery 20. That's all you want a defender. Can't tackle, but by heck, he'll put his head in where he, wants, where he needs to be. Slightly worrying, actually. Because, you know, this is where Grimsby started tumbling down the leagues. They're not the best team. Phil Jevons! Oh, the legend Phil Jevons. No way, Grimsby are all right. Oh, God, I've got to ring the changes here. This is a bit annoying. Who's having a stinker? Is this the Gareth Grant factor? Should have kept the squad as it is. Hmm, bit of nine really. Eleven shots. Their kid must be having a, having a good game. There we are. There we are. Gareth Waller, two goals. Gareth Waller is on that trick. Stuart McCorver six. Not not feeling that. Right, Roy Blake. It's big on Matt Daddy. Show you how to finish. Oh, there's had three shots, three on target. Ro Gareth Wallace had seven shots. Maraud. Tominera. Oh, frig. What a game. What are my keepers doing even in net? What's Gary Walsh? Oh, my Lord. Walsh, you need to do better than that if we're doing it. Matt Daddy. What a substitution. Who's that? What was that trick? <laughs> Free scoring midfielder Gareth Wally. Who's got the assist? Weather all. Duff a victory, obviously. We haven't quite finished yet, though. Oh my god. What? Gar Batten down the hatches. Batten down the hatches. Final listen. 5 4. Come on. I tell you what, that was a close game. What a game. What a game to be at. 6,700 people there. Um, I'll have to find out what the stadium's called. Um, Kim McCallstrom with the assist. A hat trick for Gareth Wally. Weird. Weird. I don't think he's ever scored a hat trick. Blundell Park. Of course it's Blundell Park. <laughs> Training ground needs major investment. <laughs> uh, and we are still top. Unbeaten. Played 3 1 3. Scored 13. But. There was four goals shipped in. We only conceded one goal before that game. So that's a bit disappointing. That is a bit disappointing. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a record for high scoring game. What a game. Right, let's get on to the next game. Notts Forest at home. Big match, Notts Forest. Very good team. Um, we'll have a look through some of their legends. Oh my god, a new ball have just, have just gained control of Notts Forest. And the club's debts have been cleared. And wow, they could be up for it then. So these, these are my German guys coming in. Yeah. Why? 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 Why would you not want to come, Windus? Is it the sign-on fee? That's a bit annoying, isn't it? 
To be fair, I've, I've got a plethora of centre forwards. I don't actually need Dean Windass. Um, yep, yeah, loan. You can pay for his wage though, mate. Not as far as the 18th in the league. Jermaine Jenis, a young Jermaine Jenis, 18. If you don't know who Jermaine Jenis is, he does ma match of the day now and he's actually quite, he retired because I think it might have been injury. He's quite tight, quite young, if I remember. A young Jermaine Jenis, we uh, weird. Well, they've got a tiny squad. David Johnson, he were a good centre forward, he were quick centre forward. Sorry. He were quick centre forward back in the day. Jack Lester, alright, I don't know why he's. Uh, Stern John, yeah. Oh, he's stern, he's done, John. Marlon Harwood, so centre forward's plenty off. Craig Westcart turned out to be a very good player, actually. Uh, he's only 18 on this. Chris Bart Williams, um, he played for England, actually. So I don't know why he ain't got a cap on there. He's like absolute Knott's, Knott's Forest legend. Um, let's go beat the Forests. What was the nickname? I don't know. The city ground, 30,000 city stadium is respectable. Well done, Knott's Forest. You can tell they had a lot of history in the club. Right, who's knackered? Wow, um, crap the bed. Carboni. On, literally on, on his deathbed. Um, Kim Kallstrom as well. I'm going to play Kallstrom. McCall. That's the one thing. I haven't really got that DMC back up yet because of Hacker Mills waiting to come in. I'll have to play McCall. I'll just have to suck it up. Have a look at it. You know, we, we, we're scoring, we're averaging three or four goals a game here, so we should really be thrashing these. Mario Blake, first goal of the season, thank you. Uh, I'd be surprised if we don't beat him, actually. We're at home, we've got the, the Valley Parade crowd behind us. Slightly worried about McCall's six last game. You know, if McCall gets any anything less than a seven, I would be very surprised. So I'm surprised he got a six. But that might be the reason why they the scored four goals. McCall's might be an off game. They've got a player called yu on Bop. He turns out to be class in, in this in chat man. I'm not sure what we're like in real life. I've signed him a couple of times. I just remember his name, Bop. yu on Bop. Gareth Wally. What are you doing? He want he, he want you know in real life Gareth Wally wasn't a goal scoring midfielder. So we'll play this game and then uh, we'll just beat Dots Forest, um, and then we'll tie it up. And then I think that'll be it. I, these videos. I don't want them going too long because essentially you're watching me watch a flashing bar of uh, in Claret Number. Well, roughly Claret Number. Right, so ring the changes. Right, uh, Jeremy Vich is going to slip into there, um, and then I'll have Bauer at left back. Um, who's at it? Kim Scalstrom's at it. So I'll bring. Carboni on, and I'll also take off Tom Madeira. That's how I roll. So you know, I, I'm not. I don't want to rely on Tom Madeira. If we got to rely on anybody at this rate, it's Gareth Wally. Matt Daddy, Matt Daddy is could end up being a super sub. I think he's got every time he's come on. What have that with this allowed? Are they even having shots? They are. They're having quite a lot of shots. Actually, eleven. Oh, look at the defence playing really well. Full time, man of the match, Tom Madeira, weirdly enough, with a cheeky assist. Um, absolute cheap player. Feel a bit gilly, Tom Madeira's gone all the time. And I'm still top, played for 1 4. Uh, Gareth Fuller, top of the <laughs> top of the pile. Top of the, all, all my players in the average ratings there. Stan Lazaridis, he's a legend. Um, yeah, that'll do. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you're watching for the first time, you can. I think this is the sixth, seventh episode, so you can watch back to all the other ones. Uh, see our journey up until this point. Our next game is against Norwich at home in 12 days, so we've got a bit of a rest. Um, and we are unbeaten. And I'd be very disappointed if I lose more than six games this season. I reckon I worked out I could lose or draw 12 games, so I can like lose 10, draw 2. If I lose or draw 12 games, I will win this league. Um, that's my rough maths. But Portsmouth and Wat Watford are also doing as well as me. So I'm not totally dominating because everyone else is also doing alright. I think there's a, there's a case of very rubbish teams in this league, but very good team in this league as well. So we'll see how it pans out.